Do, 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 do. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be real interesting right there. Then why are you doing it? I saw a drop down. Hey, why are you going first? Keep us wrong, turn you on. I'm probably going to need to move you around. Yeah, you can. It's very much possible. Oh, it's probably because this thing. Wow, that thing's out of there, Jack. Do I have another one? Yeah, right. Let me switch up my cords. That one don't look good. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, he out of there. He is out of there, Jack. Oh, I got to wait for Marvin before I do that. Mm -hmm. I know y'all watching me. I know y'all wait. I know y'all sitting set up. Don't worry about it. I'm coming. You know. This one, that one, but cha cha da cha cha cha. You're done. Don't have time to talk right now. Yo, do do do. Oh, come here, y'all. Hold on. I got to get myself together, man. Shoot. I got to get set up, man. I got to get everything set up. Yeah. If I do this, if I do this, I think Marvin already on here, y'all. But I'm not ready yet, though. So give me like two more seconds. Y'all know I stay unprepared. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really be unprepared. I just don't be prepared. I don't know if you call that unprepared, but it just, I'm not prepared. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he can wait. Y'all can wait too. You know what I'm saying? You know, it'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? He should have got back in the country anyway. Hell, he need to get back acclimated. He probably think it's 8 30 at night anyway. Hold on, Marv. I got to pull my celebratory drink up for you. Like I do with all after all the championships. Today's celebratory drink is rock summer water. Now I don't recommend y'all doing this because y'all are still athletes and stuff. I'm old. I'm an old man now, Jack. You know what I'm saying? I don't do none of that training stuff. Bock of water. See, I still got my water in me. Bock of water. Give me headphones. All right. Can y'all hear me? Can everybody hear me? Y'all can hear you. Hey, What's going on, man? What's going on? First of all, congratulations. I appreciate it. No matter what, at the end of the day, congratulations. Anytime you can go somewhere and come back with some hardware, that's not an L. No way, no how. Because you can go there. And you can come back empty-handed. And that pretty much means you wasted your time and a lot of other people's time. And you wasted a lot of money, a lot of training. But at least that didn't happen. 
Right. How you feeling, brother? Man, I'm. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm. I'm. I'm <clears throat> it's a lot of mixed emotion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's it's it's. I'm so incredibly thankful, man, because you know, a lot of people don't know that you know you uh, Worlds was my second meet of the season. So you know, opening up mm-hmm. at USA and and going to Worlds and you know just coming away with you know some kind of medal and you know being in the contentions. Um, I'm thankful, but you know that makes it hurt a little bit more because it's like you know I'm not gonna lie. After the first round, I was like, oh, I'm gonna win. I was like, oh, that 46 felt, you know what I'm saying? That was a breeze, like, oh, I'm going to win. And so just, you know, going in there, then going to the finals, having a legit shot to win and mm-hmm. for it to, you know, come down to, you know, to be that close, it just, it just stings a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But overall, I'm feeling good. I got the race up, all right? So I'm going to play the race. I'm going to go through what I see. But before I do that, I want I just got one question. That I want to ask you. What do you think? Because you just said I thought I was gonna win. What do you think would be the reason why you didn't win then? Um. Well, I mean, it's, 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 I, I got two reasons. Um, one, you know, some uh, some poor execution in in some areas, and two, I mean, they just did you know a little bit more to win. Like, think about it. Okay, going back to USA, it's mm-hmm. Christian came in with a time of six forty nine. Mm-hmm. In the finals, I ran 48. I did nothing mm-hmm. win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, coming into Worlds, um, um, Marcel ran 49. Christian ran 45. Okay, in the final race, I ran 6.44. I did nothing to win. Mm-hmm. He was just there, just mm-hmm. ready to go 41. And so that's, I mean, that's one reason, you know, they just did more. And two, like I said, just uh, just a poor execution in some phases of the race that I got to clean up outside. You know what? I'm glad you said that. So, I'm going to play this. Right here on my screen and watch it. This is actually probably the first time I've watched it since you guys have ran outside of the controversy and we'll get into all that. This mm-hmm. is probably the first time I've actually watched it since y'all ran. And I wanted to wait. Hold on, make sure I turn my camera around so everybody can see it. I wanted to wait to make sure that I did it. Um while you was here. There he is right now. The wall on the screen right now. Y'all look at the wall on the screen. There he is. There he is. All right. Let's go on. Let's go on and get into this thing. All right, Marv, I got a question. Yep. I know the people want to know too. At this particular moment, what was going through your mind right now? Uh, I, I was just like, motherfucker, go. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what did you say? Like, I'm gonna keep it 100. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, listen, motherfucker, you better go. Cause I'm like, I'm like, you know, you know, Christian, fin- you know, Christian finna get out. So I'm mm-hmm. like, listen, Marv, Marv, just go. You know what I'm saying? And we'll fix the rest later. And mm-hmm. just, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I was, I was hoping that I was gonna be in five. Like I thought they were gonna put him in between us. I ain't think they were gonna put the two Americans right next to each other. You know? They but did that in the semis. I mean, on, uh, not semi. They did it in the girls in the girls race too. So they put the Americans next to each other. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Nah, I yep. I wasn't really Both of them right next to each other. I'm thinking they gonna split us, you know, down the middle, and you know, we just gonna rock it like that. Okay. Let me go ahead and take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. You know, I'm gonna break down what I see. You know, while while I'm watching this with you. All right. In this position, people, in this position, me doing what I do, I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, you finna lose. Your head jacked up. Yeah, your head jacked up too. That ain't bad. Oh, that's Coleman. Okay. Um, that ain't bad at all. That's a relaxed neck. Now. Based off what I'm looking at, I would normally say his hips are too high. I would say I probably would have brought him down to a little bit where Marvin is at. I'd say he don't look too bad. Your rounded back says you finna go. You, you, no, that round back says your spine ain't straight, so we ain't gonna worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> at this particular point, if I'm looking at it, I'm literally saying. Hey, somebody said turn the camera a little bit more. 
They turn First of all, you got like, God damn it, y'all. Damn, y'all don't see the race. This is for me to break it down. Y'all don't see this shit a hundred times. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Y'all see it now? Can you see it better now? Can you see it better now? I turned the camera for you a little bit. If you can't, you don't watch it anyway. No, don't worry. Everybody in all right. So at this particular point, I'm going to say, I'm going to be honest with you. Just for me, I'm going to say the race is going to be won between these three and not Coleman. Now, hold on before I say anything. I mean, before y'all say anything, the only reason why I'm saying not Coleman is because of his shoulder angle. His shoulder angle tells me he's not going to drive out too far because of where his angle is at right now. He's already pretty much right here. So your shoulder going to go there. So right now I'm saying mm, these three, right? But for some reason, this is what works for Coleman, why he's able to get out so fast. All right. So now let me see. I'll go first step. Ooh, Y'all boy got out. I'm talking about. Ooh, shit. Still to go with us. But how y'all gone? <laughs> now, if I'm being honest, at this still image, I'm going to say Marcel. The only reason why I'm going to say Marcel is because I'm always looking at my knee ash. He got knee ash already. Yours ain't that bad. His foot too far behind. Even though it's Christian Coleman now. So this is just me doing my job, y'all. So now if I get a little further into it. Now if I get a little further into it. Horrible camera angle. Right here, I'm going to say, again, just Ray do what Ray's take what I do. I'm going to say, told you, told you, good, but because of the eye angle, one, two, three, got a chance to come catch you. I told y'all they out the water. Don't even worry about them. Okay. Now, at the, hold on, I got to bring it back to y'all. I'm sorry, I got to bring it back. Because I want to ask more what he's thinking throughout the whole race after I break it down. Let me bring it back, though. Let me bring it back. Uh, play. Boom, 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 boom. Right here, I'm saying, excuse me. I'm saying Marvin Bracey. Now, the only reason why I'm saying Marvin Bracey is because we're at roughly 30 meters and he's still driving. Your eyes is up, you gunning. Your eyes is up, you gunning. He's still driving. I'm still going to say Marvin. Now, I'm going to say, okay, Marvin looks even better. Why? His vision's still here, so he ain't hit top end yet. He's still driving. Top end, top end. Don't even worry about that. He's still kind of driving, but he just ain't strong enough. You up and running. Now, because it's a 60, this is why I think he won. All right? We're at 30, meaning right now, these two are about to hit it. They already up. Marv's still driving. Okay. Now, right now, I'm saying one, two, not three. The only reason I'm saying three, not three, is because the flip already. He's already flipping. His shoulders are too far forward. His hips, his shoulders are too far forward. So, meaning he's going to start falling and his legs going to get behind him, which is ultimately what happened. Right now, I'm saying, oh, he finna hit a gear, and he already in a gear. They finna go and get him. Now, at this particular point right here, to me, to me, if I'm doing race take, the race is right here. To me, and I ain't just saying this because Marv on the show. I ain't saying it because Marv on the show. Well, damn, y'all. Y'all know what I do. To me, at this particular point, Marv can't lose his race. The reason being is because you outdrove him, which means you ain't hit no full speed gear yet. You still got your mm, left. So if I'm breaking it down, I'm like, okay, now he can make a move, and that move going to go boom, boom, boom. Pretty much the same thing I be saying about Elaine when she be in the hunting. Mm -mm. When she get down, y'all in trouble. Why? Because now she going to go boom, 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 mm -hmm. and stay in front. So at this point, I'm like, oh, yeah, your knees ain't high enough. He there, but Marv, 
Marvin in a good position. It's going down. Now, at this particular juncture, me being honest and me being the critic that I am, and I'm always talking about Niaz. Marv Niaz ain't up as high as his Niaz, which is ultimately why he's going to win. Coming out front, but y'all both of them gonna close on him. Shoulders too far in front of the hips, he's gonna start slowing down. His knee ash is so high up to where when he put his hammer down, he's gonna get just a little inch more, not faster, just a little further. If I'm looking at more, I'm like knee, knee. Just that just that centimeter is gonna change the trajectory of how far your next touchdown is gonna be. Boom. So here we are now. Because both of y'all closing on CC, just like I said back there. No, both of y'all finna close on him. Both of y'all closing. Now look at it. Here we go again. Uh, Ocean's 13, knee ash, just a little bit higher than more. Not a lot, just a little bit. Coleman, like I told y'all, gonna start falling apart. Why? Shoulders too far in front of the legs. There's no push, there's no power there. Mm-hmm. Now, and here it is. At this point, and then Marv, you can tell me when I get done, whatever you're thinking. This is when I'm saying, okay, he's gonna win it. Because his knee ash ain't dropped. It's still up high. Meaning his force into the ground is just a little bit more than Marvin's. Because Marvin, if you look, Marvin thigh right there. Ain't no more force there. It's gone. It's, it's, it's too much spin now. Now, when we get on down in this area, right there, that to me, that was the difference. That right there, that last, that that's 50, 40, to, the 40 to 50 is where, in my personal opinion, Marv is where you lost it. That 40 to 50, because you didn't have enough knee ash to keep pushing to cover that same ground that he covering. CC just trying to right. hold on <clears throat> to his speed. And that's what's going to push him through there. Let me see now. Yeah, see? That was it. Like, to me, to me, to me, the reason why you lost that race was because of your 40 to 50. The one thing I can say that I saw in your first round now, you can. I'm gonna let you get the flow after this. Take it off. I'm getting a little hot. Yeah, I know I got my afro going now, so I take it off. The the one thing that I'm gonna say that I noticed between your first round and the finals, and it could have been a little something from PR. You know what I'm saying? Your knee ash was not as good as it was in the first round. I think if it had not been, this is me personally, and I'm gonna let you get the flow. I think if it had not been three rounds, you'd have won. That, that's my personal opinion. And I'm not saying it because you want to show. That's just me being raised take. I think because it was three rounds and you had already went so fast, keep it in mind, you didn't go slow here either. It just, yo, it was just like first round, your knee ass looked like his. Second round, still looked good. Third round, it was just like a little bit low. And that's why I'm like, mmm. If it had been a, a semi final, I think Marv would have got it. Based off what I'm seeing here, I think Marv would have got it. Okay, now you take me through the race. Okay, so gun goes off. I hit the first two steps. Bang, bang. I'm like, okay, he ain't gonna get away from me this time. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, but, you know, Christian has the, Christian has the God-given ability from about 10 meters to about 30. Like, he just, it, it ramps up. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And you either got to, you got to make a choice. You got to make a choice. You, if you try to go with him, you know what I'm saying? You throw off your race plan. Yep. So being that I knew after USA's that he was going to do that, I'm like, man, just execute, you know, just execute, just execute. He's going to come back. I'm just, I keep telling myself, he's going to come back. So in my mind, like, I'm not, I'm not even panicking because of that, because I know, you know, he's coming back, he's coming back. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't until about that 40, that 40, 45 meter mark where me and Marcel was like neck and neck. Mm-hmm. And I'm, mm-hmm. in my mind, I'm like, and in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna win. 
man, the man hit a pat, pat, and I was like, <laughs> hell no. But think about what I just said. We yeah. in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we in the middle of a, a six second race. Mm-hmm. He hit a pat, pat, and I'm like, <laughs> hell no, come back here. <laughs> Listen, all mechanics, all everything went out the window. I said, go get them. Man, and like you said, right then and there, it was nothing I could do about it because he's and I'm I done broke down the race. I'm talking, he's hit the whole thing. Just this man going for a jog in the park, he's just hit with it. Yeah, and I'm like, man, that that really was it. Like I just I, I just had to relax. But it's like that's 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 the that's the cool thing about track and field, man. Like especially for me, like I love competition. You know what I'm saying? Like I love to compete. I love to be out there. Like I should, I'll race him every race, you know, throughout the season if I can because having him in this sport, man, is gonna be real good for us because he's a measuring stick now. He's as clean as they come. So to beat him, you have to be efficient from start to finish. Like you can't give him anything. Mm-hmm. He's gonna take it and run with it. He's already proven mm-hmm. that. You know, so just having him here, man, like it was it was it was it was, it was good. It was good for me, especially on a on a global level to come in there and 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 you know at least you know put myself in contention to win this race, not have mm-hmm. like no, you know, not not get third with a six five, you know what I'm saying? Like to be one of the ones that could have won his race, man. That was that was definitely that was definitely uh it was good. It was it was great. It was especially great for the sport. Yeah. I mean it was like like me and Anson was talking, you know, talking about shout out to Anson. Um it was one of the first races that we could recall to where it was a actual build up. Meaning Every every five minutes, your your winner could have changed. <laughs> like literally, the longer you sat <laughs> and waited the, for the race, it's like, oh no, nah, shit. Well, I can see it going, Marv. Oh well, shit, now I can see it going. It was one of the first times that we could remember in history that you did not really know. You had a good, you had a good feeling, but back in the Maurice era, you already knew what's gonna happen. <laughs> Back in the boat era, right. no, no, you right knew on, what right. was going to happen. Back during the Tyson Johan era, you knew what was going to happen. So it was like it, it, yeah. it not that it wasn't fun, but it was like you couldn't really, you couldn't really get 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 amped up because you know we was in a trap house watching it. And when I tell yeah, you, you was in the trap like house, everybody was in the trap house. Like man, why am I nervous? Like I'm finna run because you don't know what's finna happen. <laughs> it's like watching a good movie. You're on the edge of the seat. Like shit, what's finna happen? So. I commend you, yeah, you for really, that yeah, for no, getting man, to that, that point to where now you really are a force to where nobody was saying, Oh no, nah, Mario gonna definitely get third. It was she well, my pick is nah, you know, I'm, I'm saying me, but it's like okay, well, I got Marv and then I got um Ocean 13, then Coleman. Other people were like, Well, I got Coleman, Marv, then Ocean 13. And then you have folks saying, Well, no, Ocean yeah. 13, you know what I'm saying? That's the beauty of what y'all and, actually and brought that. to us. Y'all brought us something that we needed which is a race jack like you really don't know who gonna win <laughs> like all three of these dudes put it this way there was no discussion of who was gonna be top three nobody else had a shot it was all about how is that three gonna finish i feel like this this is what we need to be at in the sport because if y'all three raced again next week I think the order would be different. It could be different result. Because like you just said, you yeah. watched and seen where you lost at. Now, because of that, the reason why I say the order could be different, because let's just call it what it is. Like you just said, Marcel is the is the, is the is the bar. To me, he is the new Maurice Green. Maurice Green's technique was unmatchable. It was flawless. But he was beatable when he got beat. Dude, the I thing can't, I can't that I look at, you. can you hear me now? Make sure my mic didn't come unplug. Can you hear me? Uh-oh. Can y'all hear me? I think I lost him. I'll bring it back. Y'all can hear me still? We lost Marv. I'm going to have to go pull Marv back. I'm going to wait for him to come back in. I want to go hit those so I can see y'all comments. Uh, Let 
I'm sure he probably don't try to get back in now. So let's go see. Let's go see if he's back in. Hold on one second, y'all, because I'm hitting myself, so I got to go let him in. There you go. Where you keep? Where you keep going? Oh, there's something wrong with your what's the name? There you go. You back. My bad. My bad. My bad for technical difficulties. Right, technical my bad. difficulties. It's called live TV, people. It's called live TV. Technical difficulties. Hold on. Get my headphones back on because I can't hear you. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. We good. My bad. All right. We good. Now, you straight. You straight. It's called live TV, baby. That's what it's here for. Yes, All right. Know. So. Like I was saying, the one thing that I know you can take away from this is everything you just said, which was I made a few mistakes. Okay, well, if you made a few mistakes, then, and if he's flawless, that's what I'm saying. Y'all could race again, and it might be different. But also, can't discredit the fact that he might not know that and know that I don't have to change nothing else. I just got to go faster. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I think I think the entertainment value that you three brought was major. And the reason why I say that's because let's just put it out on the table. Like I said the other day on race take. You just had child three run stupid times at the line like this together. You gotta add into the mix that your training partner ain't even in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta add in the fact that Fred Curtis is somewhere running 44s right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like this is gonna be an exciting season to where I feel like I feel like every race will be like this to where it's gonna damn near be anybody's day. And it ain't gonna be no slow race. It's gonna be sixes, sevens, and eights every time you get on the track. Because if y'all are together like this now. You're going to be together like this outside. Oh, right. But outside, the separation going to come from, okay, who going to execute better outside? You know, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I talked to you like right after the race and told you what I saw. And what I saw was pretty much the same thing I explained today. But then it was like, but outside, that shit's going to be deadly. Because, yeah, again, that's, you, the, I mean, that's the Elaine thing. Now, when you inside, like you running, you running 260. So once you get towards like the back half of the race, once you get to 40, and you ain't really in the front. Like you, you gotta be, you gotta be patient enough to go and get that. But outside, it's like okay. Even when I get to sixty, I don't even know I'm at sixty. I'm just still, I'm still going through my phases. Mm -hmm. So you know, it'll be. You know, I know, man, you talked about it. And I was saying that, like, you know, some people can, you know, some people have the ability to, to change their race pattern for a sixty. Like I wasn't, I wasn't gonna do that. Like I'm driving, like I'm running a hundred and just running through mm -hmm. the line, so that you know, once I come outside, it's just building on top of what I've already got. Yep. Yep, yep. I think just watching that race alone, if the exact same thing would have happened and everybody had had the exact same race strategy, you can't tell me that you you lose that race now. I mean, the reason why I said that is because, again, they had already hit their top end. If you hitting your top end and I'm in my drive phase next to you, bro, you ain't going to beat me. I ain't going <laughs> like, to listen, like, listen, listen. And I'm sitting there looking like I'm, you know, so I'm in the middle, so I can, you know, I got river, I can see what's going on. Like I'm not focusing on it, but I can mm -hmm. tell that they up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. up, so I can tell that they up, and I'm, I'm still here. Like just don't do it, don't do it. Just stay here, stay here. You fine, you know. And it's and, and uh, honestly, man, like you know, bringing people into, you know, the mindset of you know runners. I mean, uh, most of y'all are you know former athletes in here anyway, that are you know watching these man, and y'all y'all kind of know that you know when you're in the race, like you don't really want to, you don't think about the other runners and what's going on around you. But this is some of the things that be going on through our mind when you execute in a race. Like when you execute, 
you really want to be in the front because that lets you know that, you know, everything is going according to plan, but you can't control anything going on on either side of you. Like, I, I just can't control the fact that it was ready to run 641, man. That's blazing. That's blazing. That's... Hey, and the way I look at it is, based off of their first two rounds, yeah, I didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> That's why I was like, man, now nah, mom got it. Because in my mind, again, I'm thinking as an athlete, I'm like, okay, right now, you got to get your wheels to spinning. If you don't get them to spinning, you're not going to spin too much faster. Both of them was like, oh, no, nah, we really was holding off. So I, I, I feel you on that. But you said, you said one main thing, and I want to get into this whole controversy <laughs> because you was in the race too. The one thing I, I explained on Ray's take when they were talking about, you know, Christian Coleman, and even me, I was like, well, if it ain't like Coleman won. The one thing I was saying was when you are in the races, when you're in the heat, you're not looking left or right, but you are so in tuned because you're professional, your peripheral, you can see, you can slow down time. And a lot of people don't understand what I mean by that. Yes, we run at a high rate of speed, but because it's our technique, we not really, so we can slow down time to be like, okay, Marcel right here. Ooh, oh, okay, I can feel, I can feel that Coleman, I can feel him right here a little bit, but I'm still in my shit. Pretty much what he's saying. So with that, that's why I, I was saying I felt like Coleman, when the results came out, why he walked off the track and was upset. In my mind, I'm thinking, and from the way I saw it, I, literally, I'll say it again. From the way I saw it when y'all raced, I was like, shit, Coleman got that. They closed, but they didn't close quick enough. Quick enough, yeah. And then they gave it to Lamont. And then I'm sitting here like, sometimes, as an athlete, you know where you at in that race. Literally. When you get to that line, you damn near know if you lean somebody out or if you didn't. Yeah, it's just yeah. a, you know, like you literally know, like, we, bro, we've been enough races to where you know what I'm talking about. Now, you know, like, oh, no, nah, nigga, I got you. <laughs> and it can be a split <laughs> hell. You be in yeah, practice yeah. doing 30s. It's like, oh, nope, that was mine. Coach, you got it. Yeah, you, no, got yeah. it. Coach, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you no. just got that intuition. So, now, in, 20, in 2016, um, me and Trey dipped out for the uh, for USA title. It was, we both ran 651, but I won by like four. Four or five thousands of a second, mm -hmm. but I kind of knew, you know what I'm saying. I was in four and he was in eight, and I kind of knew, like, ah, right, yeah, I, I got you. I think I got you. I think I got you. But no, what'd you ask? Yeah, but that—that's the one thing that that I try to explain to people about that that finish and why it's so controversial because it's like now, nah, like sometimes you just really—I ain't gonna say feel. You just know, no, you no I won that bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you got to ride with the L. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. at the end of the day, the thing I, have, I, I try and tell people is when races are this close, you're still getting a human to determine who won. It's still somebody I. Somebody sitting there looking at the screen like, oh, yeah. I think it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it ain't computerized to where people think it is. You see what I'm saying? When it comes down to, 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 to that. So, look at the hurdles. Look at the hurdles. The dude, they missed out on the spot because the two dudes ran, they came down to the exact same thousands of a second to the point they wouldn't separate them. And they had mm -hmm. to pick the name, they had to pick the name out of the, uh, out of the bag. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, <laughs> hey. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Now that brings me to this right here. Again, what 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 Ansi was saying. At this point, do you feel like one of y'all got to just step up and separate yourself or is it more entertaining for it to be races like this? Okay. To so, where you know, all right, so I mean, I would say this is two, this is a two-part answer. I would say if one of us, if somebody gonna step up and take over, I want it to be me. You know, I want to be you know, uh. top dog to where I, you know, you know, what I'm saying to where y'all, I don't, y'all don't give a damn about what's going on back there. Like I'm up here, but from a from a fan of track and field standpoint, like I like you know having a race where you don't know what where you as a runner know you got a chance because why would I want to be in the era of 
Why the hell would I want to be in the era of Marcel Jacobs where he's just winning every championship and we over here back here fighting for fucking second place? Like, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to see that. And I mean, I know, you know, fans, fans, you know, see the sport and think, you know, oh, well, you know, that's a start, that's this and third. I think that there's, there's enough love and admiration and notoriety for all of us to get some, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. it's nice that it's still wide open. That way, you know, everybody can get a piece of the pie because think about it, like, you know, they do races and before the races, they show people in front of their blocks and stuff like that. And, you know what I'm saying? And think about it, everybody, everybody got family. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got friends watching these races, but you know what I'm saying? You get in the race and they show Bolt on the screen and him doing his <laughs> antics and all that. You know what I'm saying? And no, I had to live through that. I know. <laughs> now, they say, now, they say, now they say on your mark. Yeah. You down there, you know, doing your thing. You know, you in lane two doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Nobody don't see nothing. So whether you win or lose, you know what I'm saying? They didn't see that. So it's like, man, you know, I got, I got a son. I got a three-year-old son that watched these races. You know, so he get to see me, you know, he get to see me get a little line. Like, you know, he'll come back. He'll watch these races, you know, later in life and see, you know, oh, man, they was talking good about you, daddy. Or they said this or they said that. And he'll mm-hmm. ask me what happened and I can explain, you know, explain these things. So it's nice to be in an era where it's still somewhat wide open. And we still got mm-hmm. time for somebody to make their mark. But just right now today, like it's, still, it's just it's anybody's race. And yeah, I, I don't see a problem with it because it's still fast times. Like I ain't gonna, I was telling somebody at the meet, I was like, man, I finally get to, you know, the, the nine, eight days thinking, you know, I arrived, I'm here. And then we got 12 dudes running nine, eight, like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Like I thought, I thought I had, I did something, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight. Well, I got to ask you this question, you know, not trying to, you know, you know, but, I, you know, we supposed to think highly of ourselves. From a realistic standpoint, you went, um, not, you went 9-8 last year, right? Mm-hmm. But you PR this year in the 60. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like based off your new PR, you finna PR outside in the 102? I do. They wholeheartedly, man. Like, I, you know, pending... You know, knocking with pending health and everything, man. I think that you know this will this this will be a definite electrifying season on an outdoor level. Because think about, it, like I said, man, this is and this is in this is in five total races, like two meets, five total races, two rounds, three rounds, um, and executing like I'm running a hundred. Mm-hmm. You know, so we you know we're building from this. Last year, my PR, my my indoor best was like six sixty five. So, Damn. Yeah, I ran six. Matter of fact, it was. <laughs> <laughs> around 665 but it was crazy because like Raina was the one Raina was telling me that you know man you ain't gonna run good indoors you know what I'm saying like that's not how my training set up in this and third and I'm like man I ain't trying to hear that shit I ran 64 coming back after three years off the sport like I'm gonna run I'm running fast 665 I would have I to say yeah you know what so, I'm about to tweet something just so I can put it up over here cause this is gonna be interesting um, for you to look at too. Um, so somebody went ahead, you know, my stat people, my stat people went ahead and gave me a stat to use today. I just tweeted it, so I'm gonna put it up so I can put it on the big screen. All right, so I don't know why I'll make me make it bigger, but anyway, here's what this is. This is without y'all being able to see it. Don't know why I want to live, but don't worry about it. This is y'all splits from um, indoor or whatever, right? So they got you at um, your reaction time was 0.129. Coleman's reaction time was 0.26. And Jacobs was 0.36. At 30 meters, are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. At 30 meters, Jacobs was at 383. Mm-hmm. Coleman was at 380. You was at 383. Your 30 to 60 was 241. Coleman's 30 to 60 was 261. Jacobs 30 to 60 was 258. Did you, did, you, did you know those numbers? Did you know those splits? I did not hear those until you just said that for the first time. That's what Ray takes all about. <laughs> <laughs> so, based on what you're saying and what I'm saying, the numbers are saying the same thing. That's where you lost it at. 
because Coleman 30 to 60 was the slowest. 261, 261 for both of y'all. Let me make sure I make it bigger on my side so I can look at it again. Make sure I, 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 I'm saying this right. I know I am, but let me pull it up again. Okay. Yo, 30 to 60. Let me look at it on my phone so I can see the bigger one. Yo, 30 to 60 was two. Wait, why did you give me that one? I don't want that. That's something completely different. I don't want to take us data. I mean, I got to take us data, but that ain't what I want. I want the whole race. Ray, you just sent it to your Twitter. Hold on, y'all. Because I just want to make sure I got these numbers big. Hold on, I'm going to make, so I'm gonna make a comment real quick because I just seen somebody said in the chat. Uh, whoever okay. was it, uh, somebody said, asked me about the 200. Yeah, I do plan on running. I do plan on running a couple um, this year. You know, uh, I haven't ran since 2014. And a lot of people don't know that my personal best still 2055 from that year. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, that's I'm a good question because I was going to ask that question later on in the show. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to run. I'm trying to talk Rain into let me run a couple of 200s this year, man. Just you know, see where I'm at, and I've been training real good. That's why when we talked about the 200 last time, you know, with Trey, like, I mean, first of all, I'm not going to go in a public, you know, a public forum and uh, admit mm-hmm. defeat. He's going to beat me, but mm-hmm. um, I've been training real good, man, and um, I think that you know I can actually, uh, I can, I can, have, I can better my PB for sure, you know, and I, I still want to do it just from, uh, just from. Uh, just to see where I'm at, man. You know, it'd be, it'd be fun to, to get there because I used to resent the 200. Like, I wasn't running no 200. I got to college, and I told my college coach, I was like, man, listen, I'm running 60 indoors, 100 outdoors, four by one. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, he wasn't trying to hear that, but, yeah. Hmm. So, I'm looking at just your breakdown, too. So, in the semifinal, your reaction time was um, 0.133, right? Right. Um, in the finals, your reaction time was 0.129. In the semis, your 30 meters was split was 386. Um, in the finals, your semi, your 30 meters split was 383. In the semis, get this though. In the semis, you your 30 to 60 was 260. In the finals, your 30 to 60 was 261. You know, it's crazy. In the semis, I shut down. Exactly. I wanted you to say that because I was about to get to next. In the semis, you shut down. Now, this is my, this is my 30 seconds to coach, damn it. <laughs> in the, and you know this because I'm sure Rainer has said it a million, kajillion, four billion, four billion times. Relaxation allows you to run faster. When you're actually shutting down, you're shutting down because your body's moving at a fast rate to where you're so relaxed that it's still going to keep pushing because you didn't tighten yeah. up to do this. You see what I'm right. saying? Right. I think that is the difference. And that's why when I saw both rounds, I was like, oh, no, nah, Mark going to win that. Why? Because he, he ain't even run through the line. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, oh, no, nah, he's going to win it. He's going to win it. Based off of me getting these numbers from my stat people and not looking at it, that's pretty much what it's saying because – in the finals, you went 44. In the semis, you went 45, shutting down with a faster 30 to 60. But your reaction time went as fast. So if we look at your reaction time from um, the semis, whatever, right? That 0.133, okay? And we look at your 0.129. Okay, so now your 383 from the finals it's faster than your 386 from the semis, but it's that 30 to 60. Hold on. Ray, I can't. Okay. Hey, Ray, I can, don't tell him I can, can somebody tell him I can't hear him? Who? Me? I can hear you, though. Go on out. Come back in. I can hear you. Now I can't hear you no more. Back out and come back in. This is a good show. That is a good show, y'all. Hold on, hold on, y'all. It's a good damn show. What is a good show? Well, I'm talking, we got all type of stats and all type of shit over here, man. Shoot. Man. Yo.
I told y'all it's a live show. Don't worry about it. No, there we so, go. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, we back. So yeah. now, based off of what I'm looking at and what, what me and you both can sit here and understand and say, you lost that race. Yeah. You lost it. You lost it. Yeah. And, 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 you, and y'all know how I determine wins and losses. If you do everything right, and you don't win, well, shit, you just got beat. You got beat, yeah. <laughs> like, you got beat. I ain't nothing <laughs> to do about that. If you can find errors and mistakes, then you lost. Yeah. I'm not taking anything away from any other athlete because right now, uh, okay, so let's go over Jacob's stuff, all right? Jacob's reaction time in the semifinal was .130, and then his 30 meters was 385. His 30 to 60 was 260. In the finals, Jacob's reaction time was 136. His 30 was 383. And then his 30 to 60 was 258. Jesus Christ. That fucker was, was moving, dog. <laughs> <laughs> the other people, like, people don't Listen, we hear, like, we used to hear, like, we hear shit like that in practice on hand time. You hit 258. Like, okay, you add a point two four. He ran, man, in the, on electric, man, that's, that's moving there, boy. His 30 to 60... And the reason why I saying his 30 to 60 was so fast is literally, it's just based off of, and I, I'll go into this by saying this based off your um your nine eight run last year with Fort Prefontaine. When I was showing people like beginning knee edge, I said, no, no, look at Mars angles from his knee to his hip all the way through the line. That shit's easy to him. He ain't got to worry about it. Because just that little inch, if we talking about force, and you know this, if we talking mm-hmm. about force, if my hammer comes up right here and yours comes up right here, you're going to get that much Oops. back off the track, meaning you're going to get that much inch in front of me. The only thing I see with Marcel is the fact that he runs flawless, which is flawless. a gift and a curse. Because if I'm running flawless, which again is how I tell everybody, the reason why Marcel won the Olympic Games is because he ran flawless through the line in the last five meters, everybody else lost their flawlessness. So he snuck it. I feel the same thing happening at this race. He's learned how to maintain perfection all the way through the line and then look and see what happened, which is a gift and a curse because now you're not really fast as far as like frequency. You're, you're what I would call physics fast. The curse with that is, let's just call it what it is. And I, I had said to somebody else, I'll put money on it. If you don't have no blocks, <laughs> you take away the blocks and you say, stand up. And you say, runs on your mark, set, go. Marcel don't win no more because now it's no longer mechanics. You see what I'm saying? It's no longer drive phase. It's no longer maintaining. Now it's who's just right. who got raw <laughs> foot speed? Who right. got raw? We've been to go. The same thing I'm saying is if you, Coleman, Fred, Trayvon, and Ocean 13 all get the stick at the same time, <laughs> he's not uh, uh, he in the back. He in the back. He, he's literally in the back because this. It's perfect when you going through the motions. You see what I'm saying? Right. But if it's just ain't no motions, ninja go, now nah, you're in the back now. Yeah. That's why I say it's a gift and a curse because it's a gift. He's winning based off of y'all. He's Floyd Mayweather. I said yeah. on one show before. No, no, no. He's winning based off of the fact that he's waiting for everybody else to make a mistake. Right. And when they make that mistake, mm, that's my point. Go on. Yeah, go on. You see what I'm saying? Not, that's that's it. That's why I say he's. That's why I say he's like it's, it's dope having him in the sport, man, because he's a measuring tool. So when mm-hmm. you line up again, when you it's like think about it because this game is mental. So one hundred percent. No matter how fast I'm ready to run, like when I line up next to him, I know bitch, I gotta be on my best. If I'm gonna win this race, Marvin, you gotta execute through the finish line. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Ain't no, ain't no slip ups, ain't no nothing because, like you said, when you open that door, he kicks it open. Mm-hmm. So. It's not. It's dope to have him, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then, and then, so after the race, right? Like, you know how you lose. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, I ain't, I ain't a bad sportsman, so you know I lose. Like, you know, we all shake hands or whatever, whatever. But no, as a matter of fact, before the race, before the race started, we in a call room. So you know, man, most people, you know, everybody got a different type of, everybody got a different type of time, you know. 
in the mm-hmm. room. I, I I mean, I don't really talk to people like I know you or something like that. Like, so like me and Christian, like I uh they put our bag thing right across from each other. So we sitting there looking at each other, like, and I'm looking at them, like if you you know, so I hope you're ready because I'm ready. <laughs> Listen, so you know, like I mean he's he's a nice dude. Like I had never really, you know, talked to him like that. Like Marcelo's a nice dude. He came mm-hmm. back up, you know, that was like, you know, good luck everybody. And I just looked at him like, nah, he trying to get in my head. <laughs> you know what? Him, like, go ahead, go ahead, finish the story. I should have looked at him like, nah, he trying to get in my head, dog. You ain't slick. Nah, watch out. <laughs> watch out. <laughs> I ain't gonna play with you. You know, so they line us up, we go out there, you know, race over or whatever, and then we get to like we get to like the back and he comes up like shaking hands, like, yeah, that's good. Like my ass, shake my hand. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> no, watch out. Leave me alone. But now he's cool, man. He's cool, dude. I, I'll say, I'll say two things. All right, because you know, I talked to Marcel on Ray's taking Instagram, uh, um, the Messenger, and then you know, I've t- uh, you know, I've heard Mike talk about him, you know, um, from racing or whatever. And now you're saying it. the one thing that it sounds like Marcel is is. He is happy to be doing what he's doing, which is I'm just happy. I mean, let's just call it what it is. He came from the long jump pit to run the hundred, and he's known y'all. Let's not pretend like he don't know who Marvin Bracy is before he started running the hundred. Let's not pretend like he don't know who Christian Coleman is. So in my eyes, that's that admiration and respect for y'all. Like, yeah, I won. But, man, I appreciate the fact that I'm here with you guys. You know what I'm saying? And I think that is a good thing for the sport as well. Um, I've been told that he knows I call him Ocean 12 and Ocean 13, and he thinks it's funny. I've also been told that nobody in Italy calls him Lamont either. But you, you did get on one thing that a lot of people never would get a chance to do. Take us through the the, the – the call room. Take us through mm-hmm. when they do that last call. What goes on from last call to the track? So okay, so okay, so for everybody, you know, for everybody tuning in, whatever. Like we in the warm up area. The call room. They got two call rooms actually. So there's one always in the warm up area where they bring all y'all up, y'all huddle up, and they walk you up. They, they 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 just make sure that everybody is there. They checking them out the list. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. All right. So you sit down for a minute, and then you leave. So you know, but it's a chess game. You know, so. I'm ready to go. I got my spikes on everything. I'm ready to go, but I'm taking my time. I'm like, no, nah, because, you know, people still doing blocks, and they want to get their last one in. I'm sitting there like, no, nah, I ain't going to be the first one in there. I ain't going to be the first one in the call room. So you go let people get to the call room. Then, okay, you know, Christian go over. All right, then I, all right, let me check my shoes and walk on over there. But I was ready to go. So I get over there, you know, me, you know, we, me, him, Lamont actually kind of walk in. Like, well, no, me and Lamont walk in, and Christian come in, like, kind of, he was the last one in. So he come in, you know, we just, you know, just kind of, nobody sitting down. We just kind of pacing back and forth, you know, just, you know, watching the races on TV, just trying, you know, stay active. So they walk us through, they take us to the other call room. Now in this call room, you, uh, you script down, you know, put your hips, you know, your hip numbers on and everything, get race ready. Um, mm-hmm. They put your little, the little bib thing. They put the little transponder under your bib and just make sure everybody ready to go. Wait, 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 wait. hold so, on, hold on, slow down, slow down. The wet underneath the bib? What it's you a like? transponder. Like the, so the, for you to have those stats that you had, they put a device under your bib and it sticks to the Okay, bottom. this shit's new to me because they ain't do nothing this shit when I was running. <laughs> yeah, that's how, that's, how, that's how y'all get it. So the stats you getting, that's why I say, bro, him running 258 on that is fucking ridiculous because they put in a thing, it's a it's a GPS thing up, up under the bib and it's tracking you down like everywhere you go. Damn. So it ain't like, it ain't I didn't like even know that. Looking, it ain't like somebody looking at a computer like, boom, he came through 258, he came through 261. Boom, he can, nah, they got this shit. It's down to a science. So, so they put the transport on the bib, make sure everybody, you know, GPS ready, ready to go. They walk, they line you up by, by by lane and walk you out. And once they walk you up the stairs, it is go time. They let you run back there and set the blocks. When you was in the call room there, was it more quiet and everybody was in their zone, or was it like mugging, or what was it like at this particular one? Because I got a story I'm gonna tell after this. I mean, you know, you know, you know the American attitude. Though. We come in there mugging, ain't no friends in here. Like, we, like I'm saying, bro, like, I'm sitting right here. Christian is sitting right in front of me, and like we looking at each other, but nobody's saying nothing. Mm-hmm. Like we just sitting there, you know what I'm saying? Just you know, looking around. Like, Mar- and so Marcel's bag was actually right next to mine, but he's like getting up, like pacing back and forth. So then he goes, he goes around the whole car room, like dapping people, and I'm like, I swear to God, he better bring his ass over here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sitting here like, you better come over here. Don't leave me alone. He come over there. Yeah, hey, man, good luck, man. Good luck, man. I'm like, all right, man, whatever, dog. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, we, like I said, we get dressed and we walk out. And then after the race, like, he was, you know, like, as passionate he was in the beginning, like, and it was, like, you could tell it was, like, it was genuine. It wasn't, like, hot, hot, I got whooped your ass. It was mm-hmm. more so just, like, you know, hey, man, great race. Like, he's, like, you know, like, he, he was shocked it happened. Yeah. And then you see, you know, you see is they got an interview and they got like the transcribe of like after the final what we all said. Mm-hmm. And you can just read it, you know, he was talking about, you know, saying like how he was excited about the race being anybody's race and how, you know what I'm saying, we was running fast and he's just excited to come in here and you know get the job done. Mm-hmm. All right, real quick story time. It ain't gonna be long, y'all. Cause y'all know I'm old and I've been in sport forever. So I've been in the call room with all of the World record holders dating all the way back to Maurice. I've been in the call room with Maurice for, for, for races, for finals. I've been in the call room with Justin. I've been in the call room with Sean. I've been in the call room with Bold. I've been in the call room with Johan. I've been in the call room with South. I mean, you name it, I've been in the call room. This one particular time, though, <laughs> USA's 2004. And everything Marvin is saying is literally how the call room be, bro. You be, I'm in my own zone. Some of y'all are gonna remember this dude named Benoit Williams. All right, Benoit Williams. If you don't <laughs> yeah, know who that. Benoit is, you just don't know track and field. It's 2004 Olympic <laughs> trials, right? We get ready for the semis, and this is when Sean and Justin had just came on the scene, just her high out dropping shit that nobody seen before. Lo and behold, now that I'm older, I understood that Trevor Graham was teaching them front side mechanics way before we knew that shit was, okay? So we in the call room, and this is when Dave Chappelle had just hit the scene. Like, Dave Chappelle was the hottest thing on TV at this point in time, 2004. <laughs> so I blame Benoit for me not making the finals that year, and here's why. We in the call room, right? And then, you know, the call room, everybody getting their stuff together. We sitting there. And then Justin and Sean ain't walked in yet, right? This is a true story. And before, let me back up, before we even got in there, Justin and Sean had names, nicknames. They, we, had, we started calling them androids because we couldn't understand why they were so damn good. <laughs> so we were just like, they were them damn androids, right? So, but no, it was a comedian. That's just what he was like on the side. Like, you know, he's this real stand up. I'll make sure I explain to people. But Noah Williams was a real stand-up comedian. Like, no, this dude did gigs and stuff. And like, he, I went to watch him, like in, in Hollywood and stuff like that. So we in the call room, and then I got, you know, I'm a, I'm a rookie. It's my rookie year, so I'm I'm not nervous because I'm training with Mouse at this point in time. Like, I had trained with Bernard and John Capel the whole, you know, out there. So I'm I'm the youngster, but I'm in my zone. Bernard in there, and then here come Sean and Justin walk in. And then Benoit say, oh, here go them androids. This is in the call room. He say, oh, here, here go them androids. And so I'm trying to hold it together. And then Benoit just starts to hum at first. Benoit started humming, and he was like, players want to play, ballers want to ball. At this point in time, this is when R. Kelly had just, you know, and Dave Chappelle had made a, a, a little spit to my, you know, piss on people. <laughs> so we in the call room. But no, I get his bag together, his spikes, and he humming. Players want to play, ballers want to ball. And then all of a sudden, he said, Justin, show me your face. I want to piss on you. Oh, I lost it. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I can't even run right now. Like, bro, what the hell? And by you saying it's a chess game, it really is because when he, when he did that, when he literally told this dude, and then he turned to Sean, and he kept saying, Sean. I want to piss on you. And I'm like, this is my rookie year now. It's my first Olympic trials. And I'm in the I got, one, I got one for you. I got one for you. I got one for you. And what ended up happening, he pissed Justin off so bad and Sean off so bad, them niggas ran off on us. <laughs> <laughs> and then he came back and then they was about to fight after that because Bernard was in the heat too. And then I remember Justin went back to him and he was like, You still want to see my face? Oh, no, y'all doing oh. too much. I'm a rookie now. I got to go. <laughs> no, dog. Check this, right? Check this, right? So it's my rookie year, 2014, right? 
So we had the U.S. the two thousand is a, is a U.S. Indoor Championship to make the team for Sopot. Mm -hmm. So, 2013, D'Angelo Cherry won. He won Collegiate National Championship and USA. Yep. yep. So, so in 2014, you know, I'm on the scene. You know, I come there and it's me. It's me. I think I ran 50. I ran 51 in the prelim in the semis, and um, D'Angelo Cherry ran 52. Mm -hmm. So you know, they picking both of us to go make the team. You know, to go to the Worlds. So we in a call room, like think about, it, like I said, man, I, I come into this game, I, I had the pleasure of training with, with Tyson, Keston Bledman, Nikhil Ashmi, Alonzo, mm -hmm. Jack Ali Harvey, my friend. Yeah, they're, they're my boys McKenzie, right there. Yeah, Ramon they're McKenzie, my boys. <laughs> Curtis, Curtis Mitchell. We and I'm mm -hmm. 19. When I, I'm 19. Mm -hmm. I'm so I'm training with them every day. So people don't understand the shit that I hear on a daily basis. You know, so you can like you. Can, I mean, you know, for lack of a better term, you can be no hope. Like you got to come in and you got to drop yeah. them because you are gonna hear it all. Like and you just gotta focus. So coming in, so we in the call room, right? Trail Kimmins. I don't know if y'all know a lot of y'all know Trail Kimmins. Yeah, my boy. The trail Kimmins, yeah, my trail boy. Kimmins. I love the Trail Kimmins. He, we, 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 we get up to go. We leaving the call room to go to the track to race. We walking. So I'm like, I'm second. Trail right behind me, and D'Angelo Cherry kind of like right next to me. Man, trail, bro. The man asked the man. He looked at D'Angelo Cherry and was like, "Hey, you uh, are you pray to whatever God you pray to?" And I'm looking like, "Oh hell, oh, I'm like, oh. <laughs> look, I walk off, bro. Listen, I walk <laughs> off. I'm like, he did not just ask. He did not just ask the grown ass man." Did, Hey, bro, you gotta fight him or something. Like, you gotta beat him. Like, you just think, about, think about two hours. Think about two hours before this. This man just ran six fifty two. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know what trail ran in the semis, but trail wasn't supposed to make team. Man. Trail, say, listen, trail. Go I ahead. Ran I ran forty eight in the final, made the team. Obviously, trail ran forty nine in the final, made the team. I think Cherry got like fifth. I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, that's, no. that's that chess game. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I'm like, now he just asked that man, did he pray to whatever God he prayed to? And I was like, it was the holy <laughs> shit I had ever heard. Because I'm like, you know, I, I hadn't heard a bunch of smack talk. So I'm like, oh, he's, he's, he's. Hey, hey, man. What's funny is because I sometimes I forget about Trail because he retired so early. But the minute the minute you mention his name, I'm like, oh, that's another one you don't want to be in the call room with Trail. Trail, you don't want to be in the call room with Trail. You don't want to go out to the track with Trail because Trail literally played my man. I, I put it this way, Trail, me and Trail was was damn damn good friends, great friends. We went shopping together, all type of shit. The one thing Trail would do while I like watching racing Trail, because he would actually relax me with that type of shit. Because I knew Trail was going to say something stupid, so I, I won't be uptight no more. I'm talking about we would be going, getting ready to go on the track, and then Trail would come up and be like, Ray, no homo, but you know I'm going to bust your ass, right? Man, come on, Trail, come right, on, bro, bro come right, on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, I'm just telling you. But... That, that's that's that that which is funny because a lot of people would never understand the call room right before right you go into that track. No, no, <laughs> dude, it was it was it was New Balance, New Balance Grand Prix. I think it was my I think it was either I think it was my rookie year, my rookie year. Yeah, my rookie my rookie year New Balance Grand Prix. I'm out there doing blocks, so I'm gonna get ready to do a block. I do one, do my shoot off. And when I come back, Trail said something to me. And he was like, who, man, you, you don't want me to hop in the blocks right now. <laughs> and so, like, I had a, as a, as a, that I, mean, I, was, like I, was, I was like 19, I think I was 20. I was 20. I just turned 20. So I had a choice to make. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't no hoe. So I looked at Brian, like, hey, I know it's pre-meet, but like, what's up? Can I do this? He was like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, do what y'all do. Boy, Trail. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, because so the meet is next day, though. So I'm like, man, I get that. But I, see, honestly, for me, man, like, I didn't look at it as disrespect. I look mm -hmm. at it as respect, actually. You know what I'm saying? Me being a young yeah. guy in this sport, you know, coming in, this man don't know me from a can of paint, and he's, you know, he trying to fuck with me. So, mm -hmm. you know, I look at it as a sign of respect. It was nice to, you know, to be able to go, but, you know. Yeah. Trail, tra trail, one of them people, man, like Trail and Trail and Ivory Williams. 
those are two of the sprinters that people have forgotten about. But those are two people that I enjoyed racing. Because those two right there, Trail and Ivory Williams, can't take shit serious. Like, like they, you think they be serious in their ready mode. But then, because I trained with Ivory for like four years with, with Coach Hop. Ivory would be in the car room and then, like, laughing. I hated being in the car room with Ivory because Ivory being that bitch like, shit, don't y'all get scared now? Nah, it's time to race. Bro, I'm trying to focus. Like, nah, too late oh, now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, shout out to Ivory Williams, though, man, because Ivory oh, ran 6 4 real early, and a lot of people forgot about that dude. You know what I'm saying? He retired way people, too yeah. soon, but man, I know you know Ivory. I know you, you know yeah, Ivory, so you yeah, know yeah, how yeah. Ivory is. Yeah. That dude, there was nah, a trail, fool. Nah, trail, was, trail was definitely a lot to take in, man. But you just, you just, when you, when you realize it's just him, like it, it gets easier to, you know, to die. Yep. Like you realize this is how Trail gonna be. So you yep. already know when you get to a meet, if he there, you already know what's gonna happen. So it's like you pray yep. for it. But you <laughs> asked that man, did he pray? And I was like, it ain't, <laughs> that's just respect, yo. He got, hey, hey. I, mean, I think he prayed. And like I said, he, he talked he talked his way into a spot. Like he ran, and then he was like 30, so he ran what 649. We made the team. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So hey, you know, that but yeah, made the team in what 2012. Yep. Yeah. Shout, shout out to Trail, man. Trail was yeah, one, yeah, you know, he was on that, that that relay team, that first leg that could pop that thing off. Shout out to Trail mm-hmm. for that. When they but while we talking they... talking car yep. rooms, I know everybody loves boat. So mm-hmm. and I've been in the car room with that ninja more than once. I will say boat. In the car room, you know when you good because when you good, you come in that thing chilling, chilling. He be in that thing singing Jamaican music and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Getting it bad together. I'm like, this nigga been tie ass up. <laughs> 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 That's all I can think. Like, literally, like he been tie ass up because he relaxed, he dancing and everything. And I'm over here rubbing my knees. I'm just trying to keep my contract. <laughs> Nike said, if I drop out the top 10, I'm done. They're going to reduce me. He and that thing bouncing and shit. Like, oh, hell, here we go. Here we go. But the one thing I will say about about, about Boat, being in, the, being in the car room with him, going to the track with him, all that type of stuff, man, that dude might have been one of the greatest we've ever seen. But he was one of us. Like, like literally, like, like he didn't ever try and act like he was better than us or like come in the car room like don't talk to me don't touch me you know what i'm saying no shit like that like he was never that person you know what i'm saying he was a dude to where like literally like he i'm not gonna say he was marcel coming and dapping people up but he would give you a head nod like hey let's go you know what i'm saying let's, let's yeah. have some fun you know vote was never and not off topic but i want to share this story anyway about vote and, 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 it, and it explains how he is in car rooms on and off the track we had just left Rome and we was getting ready to go to Shanghai to race, right? So we in the um, we don't got out the airplane, we getting ready to go through customs. Boat right in front of me, right? It's boat and then me and then you know um foresight. And so the, the Chinese government is telling Boat to get out the line, and he ain't gotta wait in the line. They literally say, No, 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 no. You, you, you come, don't worry about going through customs. Boat was sitting there like Nah, bro, I'm cool. Literally, that's exactly what he's saying. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? So we easing up a little further, and they still, and then, like, the, the little commission came out the side, like, around the little, um, the windows, and telling Bo, y'all, come on. And then Bo looked at me, and he looked at Foresight, and then he was like, man. Then he told, he told the dude, he was like, all of us? <laughs> like, literally, he literally was like, all of us? And then they was like, he was like, I know. He went a little further than he, and they was like, come, come. He was like, all of us. And they they literally said, okay, all of y'all. So they brought all of us around customs. And then when we got ready to, because you know how this shit goes. When you get ready to leave the airport, they usually put everybody on one bus unless you like a superstar, you get a car, this or that. They did the same thing outside. We had a bus. They had a long bus with everybody. And then they had like a private van for both. Uh, John Smith, JS with us on the same trip. Boat said, he looked at the bus, he looked at the van, he was like, oh shit, you know I'm going, come on baby, let me get that first yeah, seat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he was that type of person to where it's like, that dude, I, I will honestly say, it was an honor to 
lose to him because he didn't look at it like he was the biggest, the baddest, just I'm that, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, no, nah, bro, we all having fun out here. I just happen to be better than y'all, but ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no disrespect to none of that. And then yeah. at the end of the track meet, he DJed, and I'm right there, and everybody else yeah. right there. We all having a good time. You know what I'm saying? So I always no, like to tell people yeah. that type of stuff, man, because Bolt was the type of athlete to where he had the option of just being an asshole, and it would have been warranted. Like, bro, 9-5, 9-6, 19-1. Bro, you yeah, can act bro. that asshole if you want right. to. Yeah, you really could. Ain't he cool. could, no. but never did. And I know people who never touched that level and walk around, act like they the asshole. <laughs> oh and be God. the asshole. <laughs> no, it's just, you just, man, it's, 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 being, in, being in there, man, it's like, listen, at the end of the day, bro, like, if you ain't got it when we get in here, bro, you ain't, you being mean in here, ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? We don't got to talk and have a conversation or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So people, you know, people get your head not a, a fist pump unless you get genu just genuinely got like hate for somebody. But in the car room, it's like it's always funny because like you can see like who's tense and like who's really not. It yeah. don't mean that you're gonna lose. It just means that like some people are just a little bit more reserved and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Whereas you know we are you know people pacing. You got people sitting down over here. And I'm over here with tiger bomb down. And I'm over here, <laughs> you know, what I'm they oh, smell yeah. like the whole nursing home. I got the whole listen. <laughs> Listen, I got I'm tiger bomb to the ground, boy. I'm listen, I'm I ain't, I ain't missing an inch. But I, I I'm looking at the what's the name, man. I see somebody that said they got questions, man. Uh, we can. Oh yeah, we get that time now because I gotta get on over here. All right, y'all, because I gotta get back to the gym because I actually got a job I'm supposed to do at the gym, which is training people. So let's switch this thing. I see that why I love but hate when Mario come on the show because when he come on the show, it really like we just be talking. I be forgetting yeah. that we on the damn show, like for real, for real. All right, y'all. What time is it? Because I got to be at the gym at 345, but I'm probably going to be late, but it's all right. So we got another, let's go a good 10 minutes of Q&A right now. All and right, I'm not yeah. scrolling up. Y'all know how that is. I'm not scrolling up. So when your questions come out right now, that's what's going to happen. All right. All right, tell him. Mom, what happened yeah. when you ran the 608? Did you jump the gun? Okay, so if you look at the video, right? If you look at me video, another shot for that one. <laughs> if you look at the video, so what comes first, the sound or the smoke? The gun has to fire before the smoke leaves the gun. If you look at it in slow mo, I left after the smoke. So smoke goes up, the shot shot goes off, smoke goes up. But yes, I did actually time it. Like I've been knowing that that starter has been shooting in Florida shit since Houston McTeer been running. So, like, I had bet somebody, actually, Derek White, Coach White, I bet him right before I went to warm up. I bet him $100 that I was going to run 6 0 because I had did it in practice. And he was like, oh, hell no, you ain't running no 6 0. <laughs> I said, okay. I'm sitting, I'm like, listen, as soon as, as, soon as it goes up, I'm like, okay, one, one, Mississippi, two, go. <laughs> and I take off. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I said, go. And it, let it go off. I was like, oh, I got your ass now. <laughs> listen. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Like, I did time it. Like, no, that wasn't just natural reaction. That was. <laughs> it say, nah, I already knew. It. I already knew the count. I've been studying this nigga for ten years. I already know two Mississippi go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting there like, cause think about it. It's also I'm in heat number seventeen of twenty four. So I'm sitting there the whole time like, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, <laughs> one Mississippi, two Mississippi, go. And that, it, it was consistent. Like he was, a, his cadence was the same every time. Hey, we can't be mad at you for being smart. Yeah, like I'm, I'm taking a chance because right now hey, the card say, <laughs> right, and I still ain't got my hundred dollars. And that was ten years ago. Hey, you know, I still ain't got my money. <laughs> right, man. I'm hey. in trouble by now. Ma, what's your preferred leg on the relay? Um, if I'm being completely honest, like I prefer to be on the turn, but you know what I'm saying? First or having, third? Uh, uh, first. I prefer first. Like if I got, if they're going to let me pick, I go first. But you know where we are right now in American track and field, man, after what Christian did in 2019, shit, he got my vote. So if it's third leg, shit, man, we had another great third leg in, uh, in Tyson Gay. So, you know, I go and hold it down for my boy. Yeah, shout out to your reason, man. Shout out to your reason. Yeah, I got to call yeah, that. Yeah. I got to call a reason. I keep saying I, talk, I, I, talk I this morning. Man, I gotta call a reason, man. I ain't talking to reason about a month. It, it probably probably longer than that, man. I gotta go, I gotta go him my brother up. All right, somebody else had a question. Oh uh, Rodney, my boy Rodney Dinkins say he just want to give us our flowers. Rodney, we appreciate that. We appreciate, no, appreciate that. You, One, 
100%. Um, let me try and scroll, not scroll. Hold on. I know I saw some questions I missed. Yeah, I've seen some. Which athlete impressed you the most this indoor season? They asking you that, um, Marv. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I would. You can say, say yourself. No, 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 I mean, I, I, I would, I would pick myself because you know what I'm saying. Um, I mean, like I, I, I only I ran two meets. I got in five mm -hmm. races. In five races, I ran 52, 48 PB, uh, 46 PB, 51, 44 PB. So in five races, I got three personal bests. I would, I would say myself, but you know, I'm, I'm being objective. I would have to say. Christian coming back, man, and he sat down for two years. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker ran 41. Like, you just, it ain't no small order. I don't care how he did it. I don't care about the butt kicking. I don't care about none of that. Like, he did it. It's still 41 mm -hmm. at the end of the day on the clock. Like, people don't understand mm -hmm. how fast, how fast that is. Shit, so, I for do. him to sit down, man, to, for him to sit down for two years and, and, and come back and, and knock the rust off and give us a 41, like, you know, because everybody's question is, is he going to get close to the world record? Like, now nah, you just tip your hat to the guy, man. Like, that, ain't, listen, mm -hmm. that, ain't, that ain't no small, that ain't no small order. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, I had saw a good a, a good question on here, and it was, are you considering breaking the forty yard dash world record? No, nah, no, nah, man, I don't put I don't put all that uh all that forty yard football stuff behind me, man. Like, I ain't I went I went I wouldn't go for it. I mean, to answer that question, he's already broke it. Like, if you just do the numbers based off of the forty meters, he already broke that thing. So it ain't even worth. It's not even worth doing it. Um. Somebody asked, Aim Troy asked, what's the most important part in having a good start? That's a damn good question. So the the announcer from I think it was Otto from when he was talking about USA's and, and Christian having a good start. See, it's not just a reaction and being in front at two, three meters, like it's mm -hmm. your acceleration. So it's really it, it really comes down to you need the talent, first of all, because there's only so many people that can get out like that. Um you need the talent, first of all, but you need angles. It's all angles and applying that force to go mm -hmm. that way. So, mm -hmm. like, I mean, I, I would equate it to, like, a plane taking off. Like, y'all know, say, obviously, it's, it's, there it is. it's getting faster. And as it, the, the front two wheels come up, but it's still pushing. And it's still mm -hmm. pushing at an angle. And it continues to, and that's the angle that we're at. You're pushing from that angle and slicing back in the track every time. So, if you can hit it efficiently without collapsing, it throws yourself. So, if anybody go look at the first the first round from, from Worlds, my foot angles is fucking butter. Like it's literally yep. slapping the track. It's just slapping, and it looks like I'm skipping down the track. But it's like I'm yep. getting applied so much force that I'm able to get back off of there and continue, continuing to just up into my upright running. So if it's really, it's really about angles. That's really what it's about. Yep. I, I piggyback on that airplane thing, and, and and that's how I know you train down there. <laughs> that's how I know you train one of the greatest. Um, coaches, there is the one thing that I've always told people is that exact same thing. The from the blocks to the race is the airplane taking off. If I'm sitting on the airplane and the airplane's taking off, and this airplane is moving, it's going fast. My water never spills on my lap. Okay, if it's in there, that's how you're supposed to come out the blocks to where if there's a cup of water and you're the airplane, that water can't. Spill. The only way that water gonna spill is if you rush it. If the air, if the pilot do this, hit this, 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 and then jank up, okay, now yeah. the water gone. And also yeah. when he yanks up, because of the dynamics of the world, that wind gonna do this and gonna yeah. top the plane over. That's physics. Physics says the airplane has to gain speed this way. Pretty much what Marv is saying is the secret to come out of the blocks is the exact same thing. Understand you can't spill that cup of water or it's going to throw you off. Good question. Ma, yeah, really how question. fast do you think you'll need to run to get on the U.S. team? Good luck for outdoor is what Maroon Child wants to know. Um, Well, you know, I really, I really don't be liking the talk times, but as far mm -hmm. as uh, running fast, man, I mean, I kind of got to go off, you know, what I saw last year in which 986 got third. You know, right now my personal best is 985, so, you know, do I have a legit shot? Absolutely, but it's going to take it's gonna take something south of you know the the the, the mid to low nine eights to to make the team. You know, fortunately, you know for you know, America, Christian has a buy, so that's one less body. You know, we gotta account for. But you still, mm -hmm. so you still got you know Fred. One, you know, Fred gonna be in a hundred. You know, you still got Bromel. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Ronnie down there cooking up something. So it ain't gonna you know ain't gonna be no chomp. 
So it's, I think it's going to take, you know, somewhere mid to low nine eights to really – it's going to take a PB, put it like that, to make the team. I could go with that. I could definitely go with that. Okay. Um, what has been – Mar, what has been your favorite country – you visited since having the chance to travel overseas. I like these type of questions. I love when people ask me that. My favorite. Um, I think that going to Monaco was probably my favorite. The crazy thing is I didn't I didn't actually run. I didn't run. I was supposed to so Dennis actually did me a favor. I didn't make the team in 2015. I got I got hurt warming up mm -hmm. in the first round, but I still ran and I couldn't run in the semis. And um they brought me over to the team sign up and was like, hey, I'm just gonna bring you in a relay pool. Mm -hmm. So I go over 2015 to uh, to Monaco and we set up the relay. So the relay was Trayvon to Gat to Tyson to Mike. And a B team was me to Wallace to, I think, Isaiah Young. Shout out to, to my boy Wally. Shout out to Wally to Ramonte McLean. So we were supposed to race them, but I ended up having like some hamstring issues, you know, lingering. And I didn't run, but just being in Monaco, man, it was such a dope vibe just to see you know, all that, man, all that money out there. You see all the yachts right there off the water. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just walking through the city. I actually was fortunate enough to take the helicopter from the hotel, from the airport. You got lucky. Yeah, so I took the helicopter ride. So I'm like, okay, this is, you know, it's everything that, you know, they said it is. Cause, you know, coming from where I come from, man, saying shit like that, which is kind of dope Thank you. Thank you. I, I'll piggyback on that same thing that he said because one of my favorite places that I've ever visited is the exact same place, Monaco, and for the exact same reasons. Me coming from Opelika, Alabama, keep it in mind, y'all, to go from my high school to the next city, seven minutes, okay? That's how small my town is. You got three stoplights in the main street, and on Highway 85, we got two exits. <clears throat> my pop city population is like 34,000, all right? Going from there to Monaco, Racing, racing in Monaco, by far is my favorite race, only for two reasons. One, exactly what Marv said. They didn't have yachts out there. They had mansions that was on water, all right? <laughs> Miami got yachts. Miami got yachts. LA got yachts. Monaco got a mansion on the water that you can keep walking, and it's no, it looked like the USS ship, and it's, a, it's that's the first thing. Second thing party, is, man. if you just stand outside, you gonna be a grown man playing bingo. That's my call. That's my call. That's my call. <laughs> <laughs> bingo, bingo, bingo. <laughs> I'm talking about like you a professional athlete and trying to be like bingo. Like you seeing Ferraris that's like damn, where they, where they make that one? You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, the way I gotta say shout out to Wally, cause one year me and him was there. Well, actually my first year being in Monaco, I was there with Wallace or whatever. And he kept telling me on the on the plane, he was like, bro, it can be something you ain't never seen before. I'm like, all right, cool. And he's like, these hamburgers, these hamburgers we finna get, best hamburgers you ever had. I said, cool. Man, boy, we get to the bar, <laughs> we get to the hotel. I don't know if y'all see the same hotel we was at, but the hotel we was at, right next to the casino, we get to the hotel. He said, come on to the bar, they order some hamburgers. All right, cool. $56, Jack. $56. Oh my. $56 <laughs> for a hamburger, fries, and bottled water. $56. <laughs> I say, oh, no. Llewellyn, because that one, that one, I had first got my money. Hold on, I got to bring Bracer back in. Hold on, hold on, because we're going to wrap it up. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. All right, I think I brought him back in. Yeah, right, cool. Now, what I was saying was $56. And at that moment, that was when I had just got on my little high, you know, not getting my money. And then I'm sitting there with Wallace, and, and Wallace, like, oh, oh no, nah, Ray, uh uh, put that up. Uh, Lou, what's up, boys? Man, I, I rock with you, Wallace. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Money. Them money. hamburgers was $56, Jack. $56. $56. Oh, I, <laughs> out of here. I said, damn. Who, who, did this cow come from heaven? <laughs> like, but I ain't going to lie. Best damn hamburger I've had in my life. Might have been because of $56, but best damn hamburger in my life. All right, y'all. We got time for about two, three more questions. Oh, no, no, I, see one, I, see one, I see one I want to answer. I see what I want to answer. All right, go ahead. Somebody go ahead. just asked me. Somebody just asked me the best 
uh, the best post race party ever. Um, so I would say I would say uh, 2016 uh, Rio. So it's the last, the very last night. We had already went out like twice. So we decided that we was gonna have our own little get together. So I'm we on the I think we was on like the eleventh floor, and we had like a I think and I think I think it was Will Clayton room. It was Will Clay, Tony McQuay, and like somebody else in that room. And my room was next door to there. So we opened all the doors and had the music like out in the hallway. Like I'm talking about we going stupid, right? So the USATF people coming in, they, 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 we thought it was gonna shut it down, but it was like, hey, listen, y'all just you know at least we know where y'all at. Like just be careful. Mm-hmm. So I'm talking about we got we got all the countries in there. Like it's bro, it looks like a club. Like all the rooms, like every room is just filled up, and you just hear the music like through the walls, and everybody just everybody just going crazy, man. Like the part it never stopped. All that happened was people start packing their bags at like five, six in the morning to go to the airport. Yep. Like nobody ever went to sleep. You you I'm gonna pay you back off of yours, and I'm gonna say. 2000 and 2000 and, and we're we gonna wrap it up after this because I gotta get to the gym. I got 345 and it's not 345. 2000 and I don't remember what year it was, but we was in split Croatia. Me, DP, which is Dwight Phillips, Angelo Taylor. We had just left the Continental Cup, um, Continental Cup, split Croatia. This mafia person, <laughs> literally, I finally really was a mob invited us to a lake party and we would just say that was the first time I ever had a taste of Ace of Spades. We would just say that's the first time I even had cases of Ace of Spades. Cigars that was Cubano forever and it's me, Angelo Taylor, Dwight Phillips. That was my click, you know what I'm saying? Well, actually, I rode with everybody, but that particular time, I was with them because, you know, they're from Atlanta or whatever. All I'm going to tell y'all is this right here. After you sitting in a, a VIP section on a boat that they don't gave you, they bring it out, Ace of Spade. And, and if you don't believe me, I was going to pull up on my Facebook to show y'all the pictures because we still got the pictures. Them folk brought out Ace of Spades and set it on the table and said, don't worry about it. Them folk brought out Cuban cigars, sat on the table and said, don't worry about it. The next thing that followed, and I ain't going to keep the story going, but the next thing that followed was they walked up to us and said, point out which one you want. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to leave the story. The story going to end right there with that. They said, point out which one you want. Oh, oh, I, got, I got one more. I got one more. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We go to the other It was a really good question. It was a really good question. Now, somebody okay. asked me like, on a real tip. She said, um, I don't know who it was. They just asked me, what is it like training with Trayvon? Um, mm. You know, if, if, good if, question. One if, if one of y'all misses a team. And I was like, man, you got to understand, like, it, it, that happened last year. Like, I didn't make the Olympics, and he did. You mm-hmm. know, so after, you know, I'll share, I'll share with y'all a little, you know, a little bit about, you know, so I cramp up, you know, in about 30, 40 meters. You know, I back off. The race finishes, and I'm sitting there like I put like, and it's a picture. I put my, I put my, uh, I put my uniform on my face like this, and I just kept telling myself like I was gonna cry, and I was like, man, don't do it here. You know, it's too many cameras. Like, not mm-hmm. here, not here. Just hold it. So I get through, I get through the the mix zone or whatever. I get through, you know, get my bag, and as I get, I'm walking by, I'm walking to the warrant track, and Lance Brahman, he's actually my old coach. He sees mm-hmm. me, and he can see it in Shout my out eyes. Coach Brahman. Like, it's like Coach Brown, man. He see it in my eyes and he was like, You better not do it. You better not do it. He was like, You're fine. And I, I keep walking and I get there. And like Raina's about like 10 feet from me. And I literally just like drop to my knees and I start crying. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, like everything that I work for, mm-hmm. like, just it, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was just right there for the taking. And I'm um, sitting there crying, you know, Raina gives me a hug, he's just talking to him or whatever. And Trey Bun comes over there and actually starts sobbing with me. And I was like, no, 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 bro, like you straight. Like you, like you just don't lose this race. Like you go take care of business. You know what I'm saying? Um, you gonna be strong for both of us, basically. Like you know, I, I appreciate, no, I appreciate the, I appreciate the, the, the comfort. But like you know, you know, you go, you go handle business, and you know, we'll square up later. Mm-hmm. So I actually stayed at the track. Like I didn't go back to the hotel. I stayed at the track and watched the finals or whatever. Waited for them to come out of like you know drug testing and like everything, and we all uh, rolled back to the. And I, but I told him, I told, him, I literally told him before the race. I was like, listen, when he started going up, I was like, listen, you are gonna make the team, but do not lose this race. 
you know, just win it for me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he wins it for me. And then he actually goes to uh, he goes to Tokyo. And I don't know if people have seen it, but he posted a picture. And on his on his spikes, he had my name written on it. So, you know, man, that's I dope. That guy, you know, I, yeah, man, that's my boy. That's my boy there. So it's like training with a man is great because like he's a man, you know, because again, he's a measuring tool. He's one of the best starters in the world. Mm -hmm. We do blocks once or twice a week. So I get to shoot out with somebody, you know, and see where I'm at every step of the way. So, mm -hmm. you know, then we do you know everything with free laps and stuff like that. So I get times and indicators of, you know, where I'm at and where he's at. And yep. so, man, it just, it's just nice that, you know, it's a confidence builder. So when you go into a race, I'm not worried about where the hell he's going to run because you, you, you don't even know what I had to see all week. And mm -hmm. people forget, you know, we got people forget we got the grass. So, I mean, he'd yep. be, yep. be bullshitting sometimes, but when it's time to ramp up, you know what I'm saying? He turned into a whole different animal. And so we get to see where he's at. So it's like, I, I'm seeing two of the best globally. Yep. So, you know, yep. it just get when you go to a meet, it's like, man, y'all ain't see y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't compared to nothing to what I had to go, you know, had that what I had to deal with from Monday through Friday. Yep, yep. And, and so, you know, me and Trey talked every day you was out there. You know what I'm saying? And then after the race, we also talked, and I was like, based off of what I tell you exactly what I told him. <laughs> I was like, based off of what I just seen from Marv, I know y'all finna be ready. <laughs> that's literally what I told him. He was like, "Oh, it's up from here," and I was like, "Shit, I'm already knowing." <laughs> like y'all train together, y'all train against each other. If he looking like this, you gotta look like this. No, think about it. he ran fifty. He ran six fifty. I know. And I, was I like, know. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I was like, yeah, I'm good. I know. I told him when I texted him when we were talking. I was like, "Bro," I said, "Based off mirror rows, based off our bracelet look right now, and y'all train next to each other." Shit. <laughs> no, it's it's not. It's, it's definitely dope having having like. Yeah, like I'll try to tell you. It's, it's I gotta pick. I, I'm gonna back. I'm gonna pick it back off of your story. Then I'm for real gonna go, and we're gonna get these people. I appreciate yeah. that you telling that story because it showcases that when you're in a track camp, it's really a family. Okay, because 2012 it was me, Darvis Patton, Wallace yeah. Spearman. Jared Cunningham, um, Tyrone Edgar, all of us was we we trained together. That was our camp, you know, at Coach Stratton or whatever. And I remember, like when they brought me in, you know, what I'm saying everything. We 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 became one because it was our professionals. I never forget it was the uh, the, the 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 last practice we had the week before London, right? I was wearing their ass out. When I say we had um, 60s and 100s, I had figured out front side mechanics, right? And when I figured out front side mechanics, because I was watching Johan a lot. So I went to practice on that Thursday, and I was like, I literally said, I'm going to try this Johan shit, because it looked like Johan don't actually cycle. He just do this little scooting shit. So I do my 150s, and I'm coming through. First 150, 15 flat. Coach Strand like, okay, right? The next one, 14.9. Shit, right? I said, Coach, I think I'm figuring something out. Then I hit 15 1. Okay. The next day in practice, he got me, Jerry, all us starting together. Ha -ha, hi, y'all. I'm wearing the ass out of the blocks. I'm like, I'm ready. Okay. That Monday, that Monday in practice, we doing a 180, right? My hamstring goes at about one, 150, right? But it takes me all the way through the line. Before I could actually hit the ground. Yeah. yeah. I remember the first person I seen when I hit the ground and, and, and looked up was Doc. Doc ran over and picked me up. And he was like, you good. Don't worry about it. Right. And I was like, Doc, no, it's gone. Because I, I knew. I was like, I, I, I heard the pop and felt the yeah. pop. Doc was like, no, nah, bro, come on, come on. He was like, Ray, shit, you still with 18.5. It was like 18.5, 18.6. I was like, Doc, yeah, it's gone. He was like, don't even <laughs> think about that. So make a long story short, it really was torn up. We get to USA's in 2012, and I make it through the first round with my hamstring taped up. The second round, I was out there like, I ain't got nothing left. I did not make the finals. i never forget, I walked out the track, it was me and my agent, and I'm sitting here like, shit, it's over with because my hamstring done. That same moment, I'm sitting there, you, you can tell you about it before I tell you about the cry. And then yeah. John was like, just stay strong. He put his hand on my shoulder. He's like, Ray, just 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 stay strong. Wallace came over there to me. Keeping in mind, Wallace still got the run. Wallace came over there to me and he told me, he was like, bro, 
I said, Wallace. And this is what point I started. I didn't cry. I said, Wallace, I got to run to 200. And then he looked me dead in my eyes. He said, Ray, you can't. Literally, he told me, he was like, Ray, you can't. Now I was like, no, I have to, Wallace, because I didn't make the finals in the 100. I got to make this team. He was like, Ray. And then even him, I could feel like how he was gripping my shoulder. Like, it, he was emotional. He was like, bro, you can't. Yeah, like, literally, yeah. he was like, you can't. And at that moment, that's when I broke down. And then when he had to pick me up, you know what I'm saying? Because that reality hit that what I was trying to do, a brother of mine that trained with me wasn't saying that you're not capable of doing it, but was saying, no, I care more about you going forward. And I'm going to let you know, if you go out there and try it again, bro, you're going to really mess it up. Yeah, you, yeah, and he yeah. was like, he literally told me, he was like, I know it hurt, but don't worry. I got you. And get what he did. Made the team. <laughs> so at that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I'm glad you shared that story so people can understand that we don't be like, we don't be enemies. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Nah, Even though we yeah. might be on the track and we might yeah. race each other, this and that, but now, nah, like, we really brothers. Like, that shit, that shit affects us when we see one of us go down. And then it affects us because we all train together and we want each other to be there. You know what I'm when saying? Called, so when, when Trey called me at the he called me at the Olympics, like no bullshit. Like I, I, I watched the show after when y'all uh when y'all had you know he called you after the Olympics or when y'all talked yeah. about uh and he called me and I'm like I'm he FaceTimed me too and I'm sitting there looking at him like I'm just I'm kind of like lost for words and I'm thinking like this man is finna like break and he just sitting there talking to me like all casual and I told him I was like bro listen I'm fucking I'm gutted for you like if you want to let it out, bro, it's a safe space because I, you know what happened to me at trials. Like, I, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't do it. I, I, as strong as I am, you know, mentally, bro, I just, I, I had to break because it was like, everything is right there. Like, everything you work for, man, is right there. So, now nah, it was definitely, definitely a, a, a dope, and a, 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 dope, a dope moment for me. And, you know, it did make us a little closer because then when you go through something like that and somebody, yeah. you know, has your back to that magnitude, it lets you know, you know, how close y'all really are. And what yeah, I know, it, I know that you know in, in this sport, like people want us to be, you know, rivals on and off the track, but it just it don't always work that way. It don't at all. It 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 really don't. And even from like, and I'll even go as far as like other countries, man. Like like Mark Burns, like from Trinidad Mark. and Tobago, man. That one of my when I say one of my best friends, like literally like somebody I know I could call at the drop. Hey, bro, I need I need help. You know what I'm saying? And I can remember being at races with him. And yeah, we about to race, but it's like I didn't run bad. I mean, I ran bad and he ran good. He the first person to come find me and be like, hey, bro, man, let that shit go. Come on, let go. I got you. Meaning, you didn't run good. I did. I got the money. It's on me tonight. You see what I'm saying? Like, that way I think a lot of people don't understand about this track thing that we have. Like, we do go through those. Like, and and and, and, and I don't want to get into it like, like that, but yeah. Mental depression is, 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 is real, and we do break down. And the people that are the ones that pick us up are actually people that just we just lost to. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think a lot of track people understand that. It's <laughs> usually the winner that comes back and says, bro, don't worry about that shit, man. Come on, let's go out. You know what I'm saying? I got it. Don't even worry about it. And then it creates that track and field fraternity to where if you actually are a real ninja, you do that. You understand right, that yeah. my victory is somebody else's failure. So right. I got to turn around and make sure I pick my brother up. Like, hey, bro, don't worry about it. Your time going to come. It just might not have been the day. But it's exactly. never no, we're, we're never in a point, and I know you can back this up, to where we're like, yeah, we won. You suck. Yeah. Yeah, don't right. worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's never that. It's like, it's almost like that. Like you saying, like even with Trayvon and like Wallace, it's that is that I can't really be happy, happy because, yeah, I made it, but somebody that I truly care about didn't make it. You feel me? So then that's when we give them that extra up to a, like, then my last little something, we can get off here. When Tyson, when both broke the world record, and I was in Berlin, me and Tyson was training together. Tyson was there the Saturday before when I messed up my groin before the week before the world champs. He kept checking on me every single day, every round, every day the whole week. And then before the first round, he like, bro, you straight? And I'm like, yeah, man, go, go and worry about yourself. He's like, all right, but you straight, bro? Yeah. I mean, you know reason like this. After the first round, he come find me. Hey, bro, what, what, what it feel like? You good? You straight? You sure? Cool, all right? After I did make it to the finals, and he made it to the finals, 
he found me and he was like, bro, go, go, go on back. Go on back to the, you know what I'm saying? Back to the hotel, yeah. chill out. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, you did all you could. Yeah. I never forget that moment because he made me hold it together to where I didn't cry. He was like, mm -mm. you did everything you had to do. And I, I remember the last thing I did was I dapped him up and I said, go handle business for us. And I left. And then he went and handled business. It's just the fact that boat handled nine five. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Reason. Shout out to all the real ninjas in track and field that yeah, me and Brandon is sitting here yeah. talking about, man. Because yeah. this sport is more than y'all think it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, it really is. It's more than y'all think it is. And, and I appreciate when, when you come on, you know, when Anson come on, when Trayvon come on, when Fred, when, they, when, when, when everybody come on, so that the world can understand that part. Like, no, nah, man, like, give us a break on social media. And what I mean by give us a break is understand that we are still real people. Understand that this shit is what we do and what we want to do. Understand that sometimes when we take that L, it really affects us. So when you go talking crazy stuff on the internet and shit like that, you're not understanding that it's not only affecting the loser, Sometimes it's also affecting the winner because the winner is connected to the loser. And when you do that, it separates the sport from the fan. Because when we're looking for that actual, that boost that we need because we just took that L, fans can come in and make it worse. Right. You see right. what I'm saying, y'all? Yeah. And now I'm talking to y'all. So, because we've been open with y'all on this show, we're going to be open with y'all and say just that, like, hey, Sometimes when we take these L's, we can we on TV we can just make it look like we don't kill. But the minute we get off that screen, folks is falling apart. So I always keep that in mind. But no, I, de I definitely appreciate you having me on. I'm pretty sure again, man, we're gonna we're gonna come back and uh and talk oh, about come that. on, man. I don't come to see I've seen Anson ask a couple of times. Yes, Anson, the, the ski mask will be at Outdoor USA's <laughs> impact this time. This is a business trip. But um, I definitely appreciate y'all uh, rocking with me, and uh, I look forward to talking to you again, though. Hey, before we get off here, though, because we really get off here, this is my question. And I don't know if somebody asked, but this is my hey, question. So go, go ahead. When are you planning on opening up? Oh, um, as of right now, as of today, my first meet will be April 9th in Bermuda. Oh, um, you would never do the meet, no? Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. That's yeah, going to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so right now, that's my first one, man. So I actually, I get back to, uh, I got back last night. I get back mm -hmm. to training. He gave me today off. I get back tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to it, man, to a successful outdoor season. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, all right, brother. Well, you already know. You know, I'm be I'm be hollering at you anyway. But um, you know, like I try and tell everybody, we don't want y'all on the show as much as possible because we need y'all to focus as much as possible. Yes, so I don't really want to see you on the show again <laughs> until, you know, after the next major championship. <laughs> you know you, what I'm saying? Which is the same thing with Trey. You know, like, I respect that from him. I'm like, oh, no, bro. Mm, I got to go into my back cave. You're right. I don't want to talk cool. to you until after it's something major. Either right gotcha. before and then right after. Outside of that, <laughs> go do what you got to do. Keep moving forward. Keep showing the world what you can do and not only you what the power of god is because at any moment in time you gotta give him the glory and say hey man look i left this sport when and played football came back to this sport and i'm doing it all over again so anything is really possible anything anything you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm, never yes, sir. I'm gonna get to the gym before i get fired from the shit i own <laughs> <laughs> all right dog and uh, always good talking to your brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to check in with y'all before this Bermuda meet, after that Bermuda meet. Hey, if y'all got any more questions for Bracy, um, I mean, y'all can always come to me personally. No, if I was about to, to say, personally, course, like, yeah, if, yeah. if y'all lay like, notice, these guys are personable. As long as you yeah, don't be yeah, disrespectable, yeah. they'll be personable with you. So just don't yeah. be asking stupid, disrespectful questions. And I'm yeah. pretty sure more of everybody else, as y'all seen, will yeah, get back I'm to you. Yeah, and I definitely answer any questions that anybody ever have for me. So I think I'll get with you soon, dog. Yep. So if y'all ain't following him, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right bro. I'm going to get out of here. I'll talk to you soon. All right, y'all. We finna get out of here. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. And it's outdoor season, Jack. Let's get it. All right, y'all. We out of here.